have been absent for like probably two weeks now and it's because and I should have warned you guys Sam took my camera to Chicago with them for like 10 days straight and for some reason it didn't click to me that I had agreed to let him take it so I was thinking like I'd be normal schedule uploading a couple times a week and didn't happen so I've been gone just a tiny while not too long but I thought I should explain that in case you were wondering where I was I'm here now and my camera is here and it just feels like home again. I really did not like not filming. Like some people may like it being a break but I just felt like a part of me was missing if that makes any sense. I enjoy this. I really do. Foxy charm though. So excited this came in. It came in yesterday and it was like late at night when I got into the mailbox for it and I was like, I'm gonna film tomorrow, but I'm gonna open it now. And I did not wait for you guys, which I like doing unboxings on camera because you see my like raw reaction. But I was way too excited because this has been by far my favorite box and it's my second one now. And again, it is so amazing. So I'm gonna open it and show you guys what I got and you will see the beauty of BoxyCharm. So very first thing is a bunch of little papers. And the first one is, oh, something's in my eye out of the box. Oh, one second. I think it was a Chester hair. Moose, if you break any of those necklaces. Okay, back to the cards. 10% off all personalized jewelry from my name necklace with the code of BoxyCharm. Save that if you want to go ahead and get yourself some personalized jewelry. It has like the whole name initial necklaces that everyone has right now. I do not have one of those, but I kind of want one. I'm iffy. I don't know. Um, but yeah, 10% off if you want that. And then this one is good for you guys. It is a 20% off your purchase from Tarte. And yes, that is a good deal. So this is also with the code fall boxy. So a little different than the name necklace and it's valid from October 10th to October 24th. So it's a little bit of time there, but save that if you've been wanting any tart stuff. On to the boxy charm. This is what it looks like on the inside. It was really fancy packaged. It all looks really nice. So I put it back exactly how it was. We will just pull out random stuff. The first thing is by NCLA. And this is a nail polish. I've gotten a few of these and other subscriptions. I have been trying to get rid of my nail polishes because I do not like to paint my nails, like at all. It just, it only lasts for a couple days. And then when I chip, I get really, really anal about it. Like to the point where I have nail polish remover and little pads at work in case it happens there because I want it off like as soon as possible. It just really, really annoys me. And I do have my nails painted right now because I wanted to be a little fancy a couple days ago. And they're actually lasting pretty well. And I actually think I used an NCLA. So the formula must be pretty good because by now normally they would be all chipped. And they aren't. So you might be a good brand. And this I think retails for $16. And the color is a nice purpley grayish fall and winter time color so they definitely got the theme right for the season and this is in the color california not sure about that let's open it i have like a fever right now and i have been so absent-minded all day so if i get like just random pauses that's probably what it's from it's not even today i've had a fever for like the past three weeks like a low fever like 99 point something i think it hit maybe 100 once or twice i did go to the doctor today and that's how i know i'm on a fever right now but um she sent me and got like antibiotics it's no big deal this is in the color model behavior so not in california oh i even forgot to tell you this is fashion week fabulous themed which is good because fashion week just happened and everything is full size, which is crazy. The next thing I'm going to pull out is a tart. Makes sense why they put the tart thing in there. Lip Surgeon's Lip Gloss, which I do not have any of those. I've never tried them either, but I do have the Lip Surgeon's, the crown ones. And this is in the color Exposed and it is also full size and a very awesome fall time color again they are doing well theme it's like a 
mauve rose color. I don't know how to explain that. Let's see what it smells like. It's like kind of vanilla-like bakery scent is what I would describe this as. And that's awesome. That retails for $19. Already hitting it. Boxy Charm is $21 a month. And so far, I have surpassed that with just the two items. I got excited for this one. This is by Tarina Tarantino. And I got an awesome lipstick from her last month, which I love. It's very hydrating. So I'm assuming this is a pretty good brand because I have, I like loved it, everything about the lipstick. And I don't love mini lipsticks because my lips just need, they're just thirsty. And they don't like drying formulas. And it was not at all. And this is Fleur de Lash. A mascara which is amazing because not kidding you this morning moose where I don't even know where he is right now but he ate one of my mascaras like not even one of my mascaras my favorite one that I've been using non-stop my Calvin Klein one now granted it was like kind of at the mark where I probably should get a new one but still he didn't need to eat it like, there's holes all over in the packaging. I had to throw it away. It's not like I can use that. Like, the brush wouldn't even come out. But I have a new one now, and I'm hoping I like this one. Packaging reminds me of Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes, one of them. This one, actually, but it's bigger, and it's shinier. Speaking of moose, I should probably see what he's doing. Also, there's construction outside. Someone's re redoing their driveway. I think actually two of my neighbors are, so if you hear stuff, that is what it is. It retails for $19, and it is also full size. Like I said, everything was full size, so I'll be right back. That dog. And the next thing is the Go Palette Paris by uh, Coastal Scents. And it is a little eyeshadow palette. This one I am not going to swatch because I have come to the conclusion, which I found this a long time ago, that I have way too many eyeshadows. And when I get products like this, I feel like it's not even worth it for me to swatch them because it would be better giving it away in a giveaway or giving it as a gift than to swatch it and have it look used and then just never use it. And damn it, two of the eyeshadow things already came out. But they're still intact, so I can probably just glue them back in. Yeah, that's not a big deal. This is the palette, though. Neutrals, fall time. Loving this, like, reddish colors over here. I really like that. I love, like, purples in the fall. Dark ones, obviously. It's, like, it looks nice. But, again, I have so many eyeshadow palettes and, like, singles that it's just wasteful for me to use this. And then the last thing I got is a little rollerball perfume. And this is by Hello Prince. Or Hello Harvey, no, Harvey Prince in the Centello, which I've gotten samples from Birchbox of this before. And one of my friends actually loves this scent, so I'm just going to give this to her, I think. Um, it did come out in, like, there's perfume all over this. It, you can tell, like, a little bit came out, um, which is fine because it was all packed in this. So it didn't get on anything else, and my box smells really good now. Um, but it did leak some, which is not a big deal. I like that they put it in the extra package um, wrapping just in case because I feel like that probably happened to a lot of people. It does smell good, but that is an awesome size. And I think, well, actually, I don't know if this is considered full size. And it's now that I'm looking at it, it's not a rollerball. It's just a really, really big sample vial. Um, I will check on that. 10 millimeters for $29. This is 10 millimeters. Okay, so it is full size. It's just like a little baby version, which is cute. And it has perfume all over it. So um, I'll probably wipe that off and give it to her later. Actually, her birthday. No, I'm not. Mm, I got her like a makeup palette for her birthday. So I might stick that in with it. I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about that. I might just give it to her at work as like a non birthday present. I don't know. Okay. Anyways, um, that was everything. So let me total this up for you guys real fast because this box was worth way more than $21. $95.95 to be exact. Um, worth it. Absolutely. So favorites, 
of this were, um, I think these are tied. I'm excited to try a new mascara. It's big. The wand is awesome on it. Um, but also love the brand Tarte. I'm super excited about this. My love for lip gloss just, it's ever growing. And yeah, these are my favorites. Least favorite would be, so like, I don't dislike anything, but I feel like maybe this. I don't know though. It's a really big size for like what I normally get out of boxes, which is awesome. Uh, but, and I do like the scent. I don't know. It'd be between these two, which is stupid because this is kind of awesome too. It's just that I'm not going to use it. So I guess that's why I would put that in there. And then also I'm not going to use this because I'm giving it away. So yeah, I guess one of those two, but really it doesn't apply because I liked everything. And that was the end of this sort of unboxing that really just showing you what I got and um that's everything oh hold on so I was wondering if you guys would want to see me so I have the pose account I talked to you about where I sell stuff I was wondering if I should like start featuring items that I'm selling so you can see it on the video in like half real life not just on like a flat photo of it so let me know if you would want to see that I can start showing like maybe two ish items in a video here and there or every video I don't know if I would do every video but let me know if you want to see something like that so that you can have a little more of a, a better understanding of what it is and not just the photo it's like all angles of the item product I don't know which word I was going for with that. Um, yeah, other than that, I will see you guys really soon in another video. Bye.